All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of four is equal to negative nine. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by adding nine on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get x to the power of four plus nine is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna rewrite this as x to the power of two to the power of two plus three to the power of two is equal to zero. So now I can use the property a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus two ab. Well, we can think of a as x squared and b as three. So I already have a squared plus b squared right here, but I'm just missing this two ab. So what I can do is say that a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b squared minus 2ab. So in this case, x squared squared plus 3 squared is equal to x squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times x squared times 3. And remember, this is all still equal to 0. So now I get x squared plus 3 squared minus 6x squared is equal to 0. And the square root of 6 squared is equal to 6. So what I'm going to do is we write this as x squared plus 3 squared minus the square root of 6x squared. So now I have something squared minus another thing squared. So meaning I can use another property that states that if I have something in form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x squared plus 3 and b is equal to square root of 6. So this turns into x squared plus 3 plus the square root of 6x times x squared plus 3 minus the square root of 6x, which is equal to 0. So now I get two equations. I get x squared plus 3 plus the square root of 6x is equal to 0 and x squared plus 3 minus the square root of 6x is equal to 0. So, to solve this, we can use the quadratic formula. So I'm going to rewrite this as x squared plus the square root of 6x plus 3 is equal to 0. And now, the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is the square root of 6, and c is 3. So this turns into negative 6, negative square root of 6, plus or minus the square root of the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3, all over 2a, so 2 times 1, and this is equal to negative root 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 minus 12 over 2. And this would not work because 6 minus 12 is negative 6, and you can't take the square root of a negative number. So there's no solution to this. So for now for x squared plus 3 minus the square root of 6x, I'm going to do the same thing. So I get x is equal to negative of negative square root of 6x plus or minus the square root of negative square root of 6 squared minus... 4 times 1 times 3, all over 2a, so 2 times 1, and this turns into 
the square root of 6, sorry, there's no x here, just the square root of 6, plus or minus the square root of 6 minus 12 again over 2. So now, because both of these don't have solutions, we can go for imaginary solutions. So going back over here, I had x is equal to negative the square root of 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 6 over 2. And the square root of negative 6 is the same thing as the square root of 6i. So this is one solution. And this turns into square root of 6 plus or minus the square root of 6i over 2. This is my second solution.